I'm very happy to see you here. I know that it's hard to uh, listen a lot from non-native speaker the English, but I I I will I will try and I will, I will do my best. Um, the, today's talk it's very hard because there is a lot a lot of slides and I have very very limited time, but uh, we'll see how it goes. The talk will be not very 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 hardcore uh, technical because I want to share my experience from different kind of directions from the company direction from the from the management perspective from the product perspective and from the technical perspective so here we go uh, I'm from Ukraine or Ukraina in Finnish this is very 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 far away it's more than 16 hours I'm just traveling and I decided to like it's a good idea to have a talk here and uh, Google said it's like an 11,000 kilometers it's, it's quite a far away and it's the end of the Europe like literally the Europe ends in Ukraine uh, this is the photos of the city where I live. This is the capital. Just to be aware, I, I don't think that you have Googled before how the Kiev, Kiev is the capital of Ukraine, looks like. But we're kind of modern city too. Not that kind of like skyscrapers, but but yeah. Uh, short, uh, very very quickly about myself. I write application, hire teams, consult, make workshops, and I own a cute dog. <laughs> Um, yeah, I have experience of the background for the last 13 years. I was the be uh, back-end developer, front-end developer, now a mobile developer. So I, I felt everything. N but I'm just a 3x engineer, not 10x engineer, unfortunately. <laughs> but I guess, like, how many years I will have to, to work to get to the 10x? Well, we'll see, Sikhar. We'll see. Okay, so um, one repo. Let's go to the talk. One repo and uh, React Web and, or just React, React Native together. It's not just a very kind of easy question. What kind of ideas I have in my head? For me, it looks like this, like <laughs> Captain America trying to, to, to put it together. Um, I'm, I'm trying to, to connect the, the, and work with Monorepo for the last couple years. So I'm looking at the, the whole perspective how it's how it's growing how it's getting better and better but it's still a little bit harder um, it depends where are you it depends are you building the product from from the scratch or you already have the web application or mobile application is ready and you wanted to add the web client or mobile and web application are ready <laughs> and uh, you have to to connect it I have like three of four this of these items, I have experience with, the, uh, uh, with with three items, and it's it's sometimes it's very painful, and sometimes it's not working. Okay, classic. I, I will tell you the truth. I, I don't want to lie, but again, a company are paying just the, about the research and investigation too, not just be to 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 for the integration. Classic case. You have a product. You have the iOS application, Android application, web application. And the technologies, it, they are very different. So classically, you have Swift or, or Objective-C, Java or Kotlin on Android side and web and, and the JavaScript or whatever, even like TypeScript, Flow, whatever, whatever you want it. Um, the, but for web, it's like React, Angular, Vue, Ember, Elm, Svelte, uh, TypeScript, jQuery, maybe jQuery. <laughs> don't, don't, uh, like three years ago, I have made one Applicate one page application who have jQuery just did because it was just one form and I don't need the the, the Angular and, and TypeScript and view whatever. So um, from the I, I call it people funnel like from the product owner perspective you have team lead team lead team lead for each team and iOS team Android team web team it's kind of hard. So you can imagine that maybe you have a product where or startup where uh, you're just a uh, one one army guy and you are making everything it can be and it can be this but uh, it again it depends on the stage of the product uh, of the stage of the company enterprise company or, or startups or just a product company who already had the, pro uh, the the projects the existed project web mobile and um, React promising, that it's not the, re the promise from the JavaScript, it's just React promising, that you, have, you will have only one product owner, one team lead, and you will be able to handle React Native and React Web uh, just like that. Uh, it, it's really cool. Three, at least, people like leads, and became one. It's very cool, but sometimes it's not true. Uh, 
um, again, you will have maybe even React, solid React team, and everyone in the team will know the React Native, the React. Let's say this is the, the, the heaven. It's not possible, I think, but it's kind of heaven. And uh, sometimes, depending on the complexity of the product, you can have or not the native team. Uh, it's, it's, again, it, it depends. For example, you need to have some kind of hardware access, like a very, very uh, good GPS tracker, uh, which is very battery efficient, memory efficient. It's very hard to do with the React Native. Uh, what kind of issues you can have? Technologies. There is a lot of them. Task synchronization. Just, I mean, not the task synchronization multi-threading. I mean, between the people. Three leads, the product owner should share the, 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 the knowledge, the product vision to the three people. Then three people, three leads should share their vision to the three teams. That's a lot. And I, I saw a lot of issues. I have a, a, an experience when, um, Android team and iOS team build it the same registration form, but at the end they have the different one. The validation was different. The the like like, like the phone validation just it's just different and the fields and the flow. It's kind of hard it's, and it's kind of pain and that's that's why sometimes some companies or products wants to merge it to one product. Sometimes they don't. Delivery synchronization, that's the pain in us too. Because um, you should somehow deliver the same features for all customers. And imagine like Facebook or, or, or Uber or, or whatever. And it's, it's very hard. You, you, you're not able to say, hey, iOS team or iOS guys, now you have like 100% uh, all features and Android users, sorry, but we had no time and we spent a lot of time. You have a 50% of, of the features. That's bad. Hiring. Hiring is, is, is hard too. You need to find the, uh, the, the iOS guys, the Android guys, the, and then the web guys, like GS guys. People, 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 people. Where you, the more people you have, the more problems you have. That's, that's, that's the normal things. So how do we will solve your, all those issues? Again, um, maybe as a developer, you are not thinking from the start that you will have such such issues, especially I don't know if you are starting your career or you are just working in the, your like division, like I'm just a like, front end developer. That's it. Uh, or you have no ability to to look at the product on the from the top. Uh, luckily, I s sometimes I am able to do that, uh, and uh, I'm very happy to do it. So React Promise. You have one language, right? JavaScript or, or TypeScript. I don't know if you would like to go with the flow. Uh, Facebook is not. I, I, I think Facebook is not right now. Is not uh, starting. Uh, is not continuing to working with uh, with the, with the flow. But they still have a huge code base. Single UI library React. But uh, remember, React library can be different on React Native the version and on the React Web. One or two teams depends. Again, even if if you have uh, React everywhere, it, it doesn't it doesn't um, it doesn't matter. Sometimes you have you should have two teams because it's it's, it's just uh, how it works. Less expertise for hiring that's cool because you can get just have one expert which which will help for, for, for with the hiring, and uh, share code. Code sharing is a cool feature, and sometimes it can save up to from my 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 research for several companies it can save up to eighty percent of the code. Uh, like you you can share eighty percent of the code. Uh, but there is no magic wand. It's not just easy to, to, go, to go with this. Uh, let's start with the shared logic. Issue number one, you have uh, to share the, so y you decided to start and the, the mono repo. You decided to have, to share the, 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 as much code as you can uh, between web and mobile. Mono repo, like first I thought like it looks like this. You have a big bucket. <laughs> for the garbage, and sometimes you're trying to mix with the mobile web and shared co uh, components. Sometimes it works, sometimes it's not. First thing in my, in, the ha in, in my head was NPM link. It's just easy, just create two projects and link them. But, uh, and it's easy to, to configure it, we'll just <laughs> add two dependencies and, 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 uh, and connect locally. But the issue number one, from the day one of the React Native, it was three years ago, no, not from the day one, but this uh, issue is uh, the number one on the Metro Builder. Um, 
we don't support it. We don't support the siblings. And it's still the same. So they are not supporting the siblings. That's that's good or bad. So for for the build perspective, you can build the product for but from the development you can't because you need just to copy the code. If you change the dependency, it's not automatically uh, appeared and 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 in your in in your second project the the changes. You have uh, WML or uh, which provided by the Vix company. Uh, this is the one of the biggest uh, React Native developers company. They have more like more than 50 developers or maybe 60 developers. They are based in, in Israel. And uh, the this tool is able to just copy the change file. So it's just monitoring all files in your in your uh, in your folders in your for example in your shared or core com uh, folder and if you have a change just copy it issue number three last update was two years ago and it's kind of unstable it's just crashing and crashing a lot they are not very supporting it uh, i don't know why i haven't asked them but we have an office in in, in, um, in my in my city maybe I, I should ask go and ask metro bundler so uh, react native I don't know if you know or not, have his own Metro Bundler. It's not Webpack or any other sh shiny tool. Uh, and um, so you are working with the separate tool, which first you need to, to figure out what's the, the, the configuration, what's the abilities, and it's not the same as the Webpack. Like the example of a configuration look like that. Hey, you have the extra node models and you can connect it and say, hey, I, I have the React uh, library and the folder there, just look there, but not here, not in, in, in the current folder. You can add watch folders, and uh, additional to the project route, so you can change the project route and, and move it uh, on, the, on the level above from, from your current folder. And specific other folders where, where changes will apply, and they, the, your product will be rebuilt. And you can have, the again, the resolver, you, you, you including the all things, the shared models which you wanted to use. The issue number four, dependency hell. So you need to somehow have the same version of, I don't know, let's, let's have like underscore or low dash or whatever. You need to use one version across all platforms uh, or you will have what dependency hell. Here, there is a project which called Lerna and it helps to manage projects, definitely, well, obviously, the, like the description. Um, again, um, there is no magic wand. All the solutions are not handling the, the, the whole way to have a monorepo easily or, or without any issues. Uh, after, like you have configure everything and then sit and say, hey, I like what I did. No, you, right now you will always have like, oh, I have hard coded something here or I have changed the pass for the node model somewhere in, 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 the co in, some, in some configuration which I shouldn't touch at all. That's, that's bad. So Lerna, for example, you, you are going to, the, uh, you're creating the monoprod uh, repo, you're initializing the Lerna, it's just very easy, and uh, just after the initialization, you have Lerna JSON with the configuration package JSON and packages which you will use for each project. Package, the, the learner JSON just from the start looks like, hey, uh, we have a lot of packages in, 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 in packages folder, just just look around and, and, and use them. And the version, zero, 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 there is no way. And I'm suggesting to use an, uh, Yarn as the NPM client by default for the learner, because I like, I very love Yarn. Next, you need to create three folders, three, three packages. You're using the, the, the command learner create core. Yes, yes means, means yes, I want to do this. Don't ask me to, con to just to, 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 to say yes again. Force, force. I don't know why, like it's, it's obvious. Then to manage dependencies, you're using like, hey, learner, I want to use data functions. And uh, the scope for data functions will be for the shared folder, so the, where the shared logic will, will live. Then uh, you need to add to each package the sh shared package. So you're making the dependencies. Mobile will have the dependency, shared dependency. 
web will have a shared pol package as dependency too, and Lerna will handle everything. We'll hope so. Next, as you can see, not very technical deep, but I don't want your brain just to blow up because it's it's a lot of things to 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 continue with. Yarn workspaces. Uh, this feature is, I guess, it's it's not very new. Uh, I don't know, maybe it's it's about two years right now living, but still is some kind of not very easy to to handle it. I'm I will not go deeply to each item because you can see you need to okay create the pro project folders that's good configure your package JSON as Yarn wanted okay add shared package to the web, mobile web okay add use the same React version it's very very important so sometimes for example like with the hooks hooks is everywhere uh, we, you wanted to use them but React Native is not still not supporting it that's bad you need just to wait. And then hopefully update the React Native project easily, because it's it's sometimes it's hard. Tweak with the hard coded part. Really, you need to replace all your Node models React Native pass and change it. That's that's not a really I, which I what I like it. Change the project root for for a uh, project root for Metro config JS. That's fine. Uh, then make like a standard changes in your uh, iOS project. So you're changing the 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 pass for for the JS bundler, and uh, then you need to do the same from for the Android platform, and hope you will run your project and it will work. Uh, but again, it's uh, mono repo. It's not very easy to do, and I guess uh, from my experience, I never do it from the start each time, uh, and it, it's not it's never working from the day one. I, I I need to sit and and still fix. One of the examples. Or, or libraries which you can take a look, they helping to manage it. So for example, if you're using Expo, which is like a framework on top of the React Native, you can take a look at like how the Expo Mono Repo is, uh, is working. You have the Yarn Workspace library, which will help you too, and React Native Yarn Workspaces. Take a look, take a look how the guys are handling this issue. Each library is, making, uh, is, is, is doing it differently. And even even uh, articles which you will find on the internet, they are different. It's it, and if you you will find the article from the 2017 or 2018, you can just not open it at all. Just just forget it. It's it's all it's, it's outdated. That's how we live, right? JavaScript developers. Web versus mobile. So this was the technical part, almost technical issue. Uh, core code. Can, it should be platform agnostic. So you have, let's say, the product with the add card functionality, and you wanted to add this code, uh, the, the data to the local storage. Uh, this is how it works on, on the web, right? Local storage set item, that's it. Uh, that's how it works on, on the React Native. You need another library, and it's, so you need somehow to have some kind of abstraction to handle it. This is the first one. You can use React Native. You can say, "Hey, uh, I will use this the, the the clever library." But take just think about it. Uh, when you have a, a web project, you have browser, HTML, CSS, and React. So like a standards, they are updating. So it's like a pie. Uh, but you have a browser implementation, TC39, which will say something to you: markup, Babel, or other builder, or any other bug. In builder, when you have a React Native for web, you have browser React, React Native for web library, React Native and mobile platform. This is a bigger uh, cake, and uh, for me sometimes I'm just thinking that this that the life will be not be easier. Uh, I'm not saying that it's bad, but I should aware you that uh, no drama. Uh, you, if you'll go to 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 the documentation, you will see that. Uh, how the flat list, for example, from the React Native is uh, will work on the on the web, and uh, again, uh, you can ch playing with uh, with the different kind of things. It's very very cool that you are able to do this, changing the font height and, and whatever. But potential issues: React Native bugs. So we have React Native bugs, as I, I as I, I show you, like the number one Metro Bundle use the symlinks. Um, you have React Native for web bugs limits and kind of interpretation how the flat list will will look like on the web platform for example maybe uh, it's okay for you but may sometimes you your developers or you will will not agree uh, how the react native for web is handling it styling uh, 
now another another bubble and how you will integrate it because as I said previously what type of stage your product is issue number five web mobile application should behave similar if you they are not behaving similar you are not able to share as much code as you want it and companies are sometimes I just wanted to save it uh, don't don't be mad but um, Mobile applications for me are trying to, they, the, the company is trying to apply much more visual effects, much more cleaner UI, and the, and the user are appreciating it, appreciating it. Ouch. So this is the example of how the, the I, I took it from the Behance net, the example how the, how the UI works, uh, look like in the, any kind of web platform. This, another example. So you see that there is an animation, that it slides, uh, personally, I'm very happy to, to, to work on such kind of project because, as we know, the things are not that like on, on the most of the project. You're just creating the markup, making it works, and that's it. Forms, forms, forms. Mobile, it looks insane. I'm not saying that all of these concepts will be implemented, but it's insane. And people are like to, 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 to look at this. And designers are like to sell it. Because no one likes just the uh, boring, simple UI. If it, we simplify the, the, the layout, that page layout is, looks like this. You have a list and something and on, on, on the left, on the right, on the top. Mobile, you have the list, but sometimes you need to swipe. One of the example, you are swiping. There is no such uh, experience on the web part. Uh, at, at, at least I hope, because it's really hard. And uh, for example, just the minimum, minimum things which you need to handle. The data loading strategy can be different because mobile uh, loading the data, uh, you have 3G or, or 2G or, or you have the LTE, it depends. And uh, you, you need to cache a lot for the user, much more, much more data than on the web. Data source structure, just to, to use section list, you need to restructure your data. Small change, really small change, but another one abstraction which you need to handle. And the end. Uh, I wish you to keep your estimates real. If you will have the same opportunity to create and work with the monorepo, start in your research, wor uh, read articles, try. Um, ask your product owner or whatever, or CTO, to make a small MVP. It, it really works and it really uh, saves the money because, for example, I have an experience where the company uh, started the inf investigation, I did it, but it didn't work because the complexity of the existing product was, the, the web project was huge and they didn't make it. Check the idea before, uh, talk to your product owner, share the all issues uh, because you will be the person who will handle it in the future. And just relax and write the code. Thank you very much. And you can ask me if you need any questions in the future in Twitter or right now. Don't be shy. It's, I know it's hard. Hi. Uh, do you have any public repos with your experiments and things like that? Uh, no. I'm a lazy person. <laughs> it, it's, it's very hard to share something in the GitHub. I'm always saying myself, like, let, I will do it next month. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I don't have it. Hi. Uh, in which conditions you think uh, it's good to use some on a repo? Um, for example, as I said, from my exper experience, almost 80% of the shared logic can be shared across the, 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 the products, but it depends how complex your product. If you have really a lot of business logic, you, it, it's a deal. Uh, then React Native mostly will be like a UI layer. So you will have a web platform just and UI layer to the web and UI layer to the React Native. That's it. Maybe you have a more complex project where you will not be able to share the same logic, uh, the same UI or, or the logic, then it's, it's harder. But 80% is my, it's my personal experience. So basically, if you, you recommend this kind of 
technologies for like a personal project or for a company project? Because I hear a lot of things about um, small MVPs or those kind of things. So if you want to start like a small project, do you recommend this? But I think the problem could be the scalability of the project in some cases if you want to scale it. Right. Uh, I, I, I forgot to say that I'm working with the startups a lot, especially from the United States. And I'm seeing the issue uh, that st uh, startups are not knowing what they need from the start. So uh, you, you, if you will try to, to, to make a perfect uh, project, sharing the logic, it may not work from the start. So uh, it, not, it may not work at the end. No one knows. This is the hardest question. But from the personal project, it's, it's very complex. I, I don't think you can play with it, but not much. For other projects, you need to sit to and, and make the investigation and spend months, two, or a week. Uh, this, that's what's paying companies money, money to me for. <laughs> <laughs> because of the expertise, right? Uh, expertise, sometimes I'm finding the new things, which are uh, the, the, the React Native and, and React are, ch are, com are changing, continuously changing. So it's not the stable, th something stable. Two years ago, years ago, and now it's, it's kind of different. So uh, just be very careful because uh, if you want to have, from my experience in any kind, in back, uh, back end developer, back development, front end, if you want, want to have solid product with this shared logic, you will have the complexity, sometimes you can die. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks. So, so you, what would you recommend to start with your, if you're starting from scratch? You, you start with web and then like try to move to React Native or you start with React Native or you start with some that's, abstraction of that? Uh, that depends on the product needs. One of the examples, some products start just from the mobile. They ha don't have a web uh, from like a chat platforms. Yeah. Uh, you're not able to say like, hey, I will use it. You don't know the what, what you will have in, in the product mm -hmm. because it's just a start up, startup. So uh, depends. Okay. Again, I have experience, and I, I again, I wanted to say about it. The company were not able to apply monorepo and and make it work. I have this all suggestion, everything I gave them, but first there was uh, issues with the timeline. We need to 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 deliver new version. Blah blah blah. They didn't. It, they didn't make it. It's a true. They spend money, spend time, but that's okay for them, not for me. Hola, gracias por quedarte hasta el final del video. Recuerda que puedes ver más contenido como este en nuestro canal de todos los eventos a los que asistimos porque we love devs. Y acuérdate de darle like, compartir, suscribirte y darle la campanita para que estés al pendiente de todo nuestro nuevo contenido. Además, síguenos en todas nuestras redes sociales para que siempre estés al día sobre todo lo que subimos. Además, aquí te dejamos otros videos para que los puedas ver. Exacto. Gracias.